Welcome back and good morning Central Oregon. With tough times upon us, many people are finding it tough to just get out of bed in the morning to find a sense of purpose and meaning in their life. Joining me this morning with help is Reverend Dr. Stephen Kosky. He is a senior pastor at First Presbyterian Church of Bend. Good morning. Good morning. So what is, uh, you have a Chinese character for the word crisis. Uh, means both danger and opportunity? It means both danger and opportunity. Mm -hmm. And, and we, we both know that it's so easy in times of crisis to get absorbed by the danger, to get absorbed by the obstacles and the challenges and get overwhelmed by that. Sometimes we miss the opportunity that's right in front of us. Mm -hmm. And we, we want to put up the, this graphic. We have a, a slide. Opportunity is nowhere, and then opportunity is now here. Yeah, if you look at that and look at it closely, I mean, there's just a slight difference, and that slight difference is is a little space. Mm -hmm. And I think the difference between seeing whether an opportunity is actually nowhere or now here is, is the heart that you put into that space and, and discovering a reason, mm -hmm. a compelling reason to you know, get out of bed each day in spite of the challenges that we, that we face. Right. George Bernard, Bernard Shaw yeah. said something. Fantastic quote. The true joy in life is being used for a purpose recognized by yourself as a mighty one. Yeah. I mean, sometimes we think, I mean, the stress we experience in life, certainly as we travel the road, has a lot to do with the, the bumps on the road, has a lot to do with the unexpected detours and the challenges. But the stress we experience each day also, I think, has a lot to do with forgetting why we're on that road in the first place. Mm -hmm. Forgetting that compelling sense of, of reason. Because without that sense of purpose each day to lift us above the turmoil, I mean, life is turmoil. There are challenges. It is stressful. But if we don't have something greater than that to lift us above that, we get caught in the frustrations. Mm -hmm. uh, the philosopher Nietzsche uh, said, the person with a why can bear almost any what or how. So it's really asking ourselves, you know, what is our why? You know, why do we get out of bed? each day. And people have been asked that question. I love asking people that yeah. question. Now, why did you get up this today? I mean, the, the most popular response I get to that is, I had to. So in other words, it's, you know, it's just an obligation, a duty. Mm -hmm. The other most popular response I get to that is, you know, I, I do it every day. I don't really think about it. In other words, it's just a habit. Mm -hmm. The third most popular response to that question of why did you get up today is, my bladder was full. <laughs> you know, I had to go to the bathroom and I thought, well, you know, I'm up, I might as well face my day. So mm -hmm. I. I kind of wonder myself whether people are more motivated by their bladder than they are by, by an inspiring sense of purpose or a reason or a compelling reason to get up each day. But you think one of the, one of the keys to strength, staying strong in stressful times is waking with a clear sense of purpose each day, really having an answer to the question why. Each day. It doesn't have to be grandiose and yeah. big, but just a small sense of, of something significant mm -hmm. I can do today, a way I can contribute today, the difference I can make in someone's life today. I mean, Viktor Frankl, it's a great example, survived the most horrific environment we could possibly imagine in, in Nazi Germany in the concentration camps. And what, what he discovered, and he wrote a book about it, he observed that those who survived had nothing to do with, with age or gender or, or health. Mm -hmm. Those who survived this most unspeakable environment shared the little bread they had. You know, especially with the most vulnerable, especially with children and the sick and, and the elderly. Mm -hmm. they, they found a reason, even in this horrific, I mean, we can't imagine the stress of that. Yeah. They found a reason for being. They found a purpose. They found a way to contribute and make a difference. And those who didn't survive were the ones who hoarded their bread for themselves. And lived in that fear. Yeah. Yeah. So again, opportunity is nowhere, or opportunity is now here. And again, that difference is just that little space. You know, what is the heart that we put into that little space? You want us to write down two words, opportunity and obligation. You know, it makes such a huge difference. Even if you wrote down those two words on a little card, put it on your bathroom mirror, mm -hmm. because either consciously or unconsciously, we, we choose one of those words each day. And the word we choose really determines the spirit by which we will live that day, the spirit that we will bring, you know, that the people we encounter that day. I, is it an obligation, a duty, a burden, or is it really an opportunity, you know, an opportunity to contribute to somebody else's life, an opportunity to make a difference? I mean, I, I encountered a friend, um, I was having one of those days where it felt like a burden, and we all have those mm, days, sure. you know, it was an obligation, and I visited a friend in the hospital who had breast cancer, and you know, she just said, I just, I just want to go home and, and hold my baby. 
and tell her how much I love her. Mm -hmm. And it just reminded me that every day, every day, no matter what the circumstances, every day is a gift. And every day is an opportunity to make a difference in somebody else's life. An opportunity to love. That's right. Just depends on how you look at it. Absolutely. Whether it's yeah. an opportunity or an obligation, and whether you see opportunity is nowhere or opportunity is now. That here. little space, yep. the heart you put into that space. That's right. Yeah. It is always so wonderful to have you. And I love starting the month off on a very positive note, feeling like I can do something. I love it. Thank you yeah. so much. Always a pleasure. Thank you.